Hello there, brothers and sisters, lovers, haters, and of course, vibrations. I hope everybody's well on this lovely Sunday. Ah, where do I start with this one? First of all, I want to thank all my followers and subscribers, everybody that tunes in to follow my journey. I want to thank the haters as well, you know, even the people that wanted us to lose, you know. We need that. We need them people. There's always room for them. How could I forget? Terry Brazier. I just want to congratulate him on a magnificent performance, a tremendous fight. Wow, it was a fight. I've faced 32 men now, and he was by far the toughest. He gave us the best fight I've had. No, the hardest, the hardest fight I've had. He hurt us several times. Um, 22 stitches, a broken nose. I've got an enormous hole on the inside of my mouth. I can't chew my food. Both my hands are sore. You know, he, he hurt us. He hurt me multiple times in that fight. I mean, my legs were solid and I wasn't in any danger of going over. But my brain was rattled. My vision was blurry. There was blood running from this cut all the way into my left eye. Two or three occasions I couldn't see a thing out of that left eye. But you, you don't say that because they tell you before the fight in the pep talk and in the rules, if you say the words, I can't see, they will immediately stop that fight. So I was never going to say that. You know, I just got on with it. But let's have it right. Terry Brazier won them first two rounds. You know, he did win them first two rounds. As fighters, we know. We know when we've lost a round, and I lost both them rounds. They may have been close, but I lost them both. Forget the point deducted. Forget the backhands. I forgive him for them. You know, that's show business. No, no love lost at all. I respected him before the fight, but now I can't respect him anymore. How could I not respect him? for what we've done to each other. We delivered. Me and him delivered. And from a... How can I put it? From a an, an, an unbiased standpoint, for me, in my opinion, that was fight of the night. I think we were fight of the night. I think we, we deserve fight of the night. But time will tell. That is my opinion. Terry Brazier took my entire game plan away from us. The plan was to nudge back and catch him on the way in because we knew he'd come fast. But he closed the distance that fast. You know, he got into the clinch game and he exposed my clinch game. He did expose my clinch game. And that was when he'd done his best work. Very strong, good power, good speed, relentless and very physically strong. When you're up close and personal with somebody like that and you're both, you know, in a clinch you get a feel for someone's strength, and he's incredibly strong, solid man. You know, he's got a, quite a wide torso, and he's just solid. There was no budge in him. Incredibly strong, incredibly fit, very durable, rough, tough, and as game as they come. You know, he was very confident. There was a lot of people expecting big things from him on this journey. And listen, he's still well capable of, of achieving those things. Um, I'd love to see him back in the BKFC. This is by no means the end of him, and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep in touch with him. You know, I've got nothing but love for him. Uh, we we'll maybe meet up and do a bit of training or some at some point. I'll keep in touch with him and we'll see how it goes. But I'd love to see him back in more action. You know, because he deserves it. Um, <laughs> what a night! What a night! Brilliant show. You know, brilliant, um, you know, format. The professionalism was unbelievable. I've never known anybody stitch you up, you know, on site. You know, they don't send you to the hospital. They do all the medical work there and then. Concussion tests, eye tests. All your, all my stitching and that was done immediately after. You know, I was in good hands. What an outfit. A massive shout out to the BKFC. Dave Feldman and... um you know, the whole entire team, right across the board, the professionalism was just oozing from the place. It was phenomenal. An absolutely phenomenal feeling. Very proud, very privileged and honoured 
not only to fight on the BKFC, but to have shared the ring with Terry Brazier, a relentless savage who who's put himself on the map in that fight. You know, he said some. I watched an interview with him a couple of days before the fight, and he said something like, you know, training and whatever. I might not shine in training, but, you know, when you put me in a fight, I'm in a fight. And I, I'll be honest, I thought he was maybe just trying to convince himself. No, no. That's in his genes. That's in his DNA. That's who he is. You put him in a fight. You put him in a real-life situation, and he'll just become a savage. You know, he'll react like a man because that's who he is. You know, he's a man of the highest order. You know, and I salute you, mate. We uh, we put on a show. That was a spectacle for the fans. It was a it was a fight that I'm proud, you know, proud to have had with you. And I'm just pleased that I, you know, I closed the show when I did because that was going to be a long, hard night for me. The first two rounds were in the bank for Terry Brazier. Forget the point deductions. I lost them first two rounds. The coach said, look, you hurt him at the end of that round. And I didn't really see it. I didn't notice it and I didn't feel it because he hit it well. The coach said, you hurt him there. You need to step on him, close the distance, you know, and get some good punches off. And I was just glad I had the ability and the skill set and, the, you know, the will, you know, to get as close as I did, to press him and get to his chest. And just on the outside of the clinch, bobbed under the right hand and left hook, right across the right shoulder, just sneaked it in. What a punch. And I thought it was out. I thought it was out watching it back and remembering my mind where my mind was at the time. I had full feedback up that left arm. I knew I'd cracked him good, but it took another two punches to get him on get him on the deck. And I was still sort of toying with the notion that he wasn't going to get up. Oh, he got up. He got up, and that's a testament to his toughness and his durability. Because that left hand would have knocked a bullock over. That was, you know, just a tremendous punch. But he got up. And I knew he was hurt. As fighters, we know when someone's badly hurt. And he was badly hurt. You know, and I'll be honest, I was pleased. You know, I, I, I said my prayers before and that we both went home safe. And I'm glad we did. But I was pleased he was hurt at that time. And I had to step on him. I had to take that opportunity and step on him and get the fight closed. Or, you know, it was going to be a long, hard night for me. It was already a tough night. The toughest night I've had. I'm going to have myself a month to six week off. And we'll see how it goes. And maybe get out again before the end of the year. Time will tell. But this is just a start for me. I'm going to give this two years. The best two years. I'm going to give it. I'm going to put everything into it. And we'll see where we go with it. You know, I'm glad I made a statement. I told you all to expect fireworks. And what did you get? Me and Terry Brazier delivered for the fight fans. Um, been back a couple hours. I'm struggling sleeping. I've got a load of junk food there. I've got cake. I've got loads of vapes and pop. I'm going to go to bed and put a film on. Thanks for listening, brothers and sisters. God bless you all. Bye-bye for now. Speak to you in a day or two.